In this video, we're overclocking the Intel UHD Graphics 750 all the way up to 1.75 GHz using the Asus ROG Maximus 13 Hero motherboard. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide you with some tips and notes along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only, so don't just outright copy these settings and apply to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock the Intel UHD graphics on the Maximus Hero motherboard, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video. All right, we have a lot to cover, so let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to XMP1. This will increase the system memory frequency to its XMP rated speed. In our case, that's DDR4-4266. Increasing the system memory can have a significant impact on the performance of the integrated graphics. For example, in our tests, we saw an improvement of up to 30% in CSGO. Set max CPU graphics ratio to 35. This will increase the maximum boost frequency of the graphics cores to 1.75 GHz. The way to calculate the frequency is by first halving the base clock frequency, then multiplying by the graphics ratio. In our case, the base clock frequency is 100 MHz and the graphics ratio is set to 35. So the graphics frequency will be 100 MHz divided by 2, multiplied by 35, resulting in 1750 MHz. Note that this doesn't fix the graphics ratio to a specific value. When idle, the IGP will enter a low power mode and reduce both its operating frequency and voltage. Set CPU graphics voltage to offset mode. This will ensure we are still using an adaptive voltage, meaning the voltage will increase and decrease according to its frequency and workload following the VF curve of the graphics cores. Using an offset will affect all the points on the VF curve. Set offset mode sign to plus. Set CPU graphics voltage offset to 0.35. In adaptive mode, the CPU will interpolate the required voltage for a given frequency between the base frequency and our set maximum frequency. If our base frequency is 350 MHz at 0.4 volt and our maximum boost frequency is 1.3 GHz at 1.05 volt, then the interpolated voltage for 1000 MHz will be somewhere between 0.4 volt and 1.05 volt. In our case, since we increased the maximum boost frequency and the offset, the base frequency is now 350 MHz at 0.75 volt, and the maximum boost frequency is 1750 MHz at 1.4 volt. The interpolated voltage for 1 GHz will be somewhere between 0.75 volt and 1.4 volt. Then save and exit the BIOS. To make sure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better, and all of our benchmark scores are higher. Compared to stock, the GPU frequency increased by 35% from 1300 MHz to 1750 MHz, and the memory increased by 100% from DDR4-2133 to DDR4-4266. The benchmark performance increase ranges from plus 31% in 3 d Mark Night Raid to plus 60% in CSGO. When running Furmark GPU stress test, the average GPU clock is 1750 MHz with 1.398 volts and an average memory clock of 2133 MHz. The average GPU temperature is 36 degrees Celsius and the average GPU power is 25.19 watts. And that's it. Thanks for watching and till the next time.